a single target insane ton of damage let's see the insane one because i want to see how much damage i'll actually do especially when it's against water obviously so let's see how much damage it's going to be Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to another monster video so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the monster guild master gregorx this mythic monster is available right now in the golden legends pass and so we have our hands on it today i'm gonna go ahead and do a review let you guys know the best skills the best room setup and everything you need to know i hope you're all excited if you are make sure you drop a like subscribe anyways it's gonna get started all right guys so we have guild master gregory's here ready to be leveled up and we'll, we'll take it to battle after that but let's go ahead and take a look at the traits we have you to control ardent and then area shock I like the immune to control, hardened, stays hardened, unfortunately it doesn't upgrade to tough, and then you have area shock, so it's pretty good against monsters with, for example, that are actual tuners, you know what I mean? So ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually trying out something new, uh, you guys can see there's no background music playing, it is the in-game sound itself, the music, and the uh, in-game like volume and everything. It's all in the game, obviously, so if you guys want me to keep it like this instead of the normal music that I play, let me know in the comments down below um i just thought i should try something something new you know what i mean um so anyways we have 16,016 power at level 100 386,048 life and 11,176 speed let's see if we can actually rank it up we do have enough cells um Bunky did give me permission i'm just gonna take it to maybe like rank two ish the most and that's about it where the heck is this monster at we'll just take it to rank two and that's about it let's keep it at 120 for now so let's go ahead and beat it up. Put it to 120, make it a little bit more powerful. Alright, stats increase. These are the new stats. It is double element. One is thunder, the other one is nature. Uh, we do have skills here to choose. We have insane thunder damage, which is 50 stamina, two turn cooldown. We have triple damage to itself for one turn, blocks off 50% of the current damage. See, I would have liked a positive effect protection. I feel like that would have been a lot nicer in case if the enemy tries to. Um, let's say PER that, or I would have actually liked the immune to control. Actually, no, he has he has immune to control the trait. So that's cool. When you do apply your triple damage, um, that way the enemy can't deny you. They can PER the triple damage, so you gotta watch out. But that's why I said it would have been nicer if it was a positive effect protection instead of the damage protection. You know what I mean? It's not a tank. Um, it doesn't really need the damage protection, so I'm just saying. Heavy nature damage and applies major damage reduction. Sure, let's go with that. There is a moderate version. So that's why we switched it to the heavy. And then we have a damage boost uh, and gives a tough one or two turn. Ah. Huh. Why don't you use this first and then the triple damage? That way you have triple damage and a 50% damage boost for next turn. And then that way you can easily one tap the enemy. But that's if there's no anticipation monsters or um, if you can actually keep that. You know what I mean? So you can run this if you want. But me personally, I might actually switch this out. Let me see. So we have one under damage, single target. Heavy AoE. Nature. Heavy ton of damage. Do we really want another? Let me see. Honestly, it's between these two. If you really want to go with one, we already have a heavy nature one. But we don't have to go with this one if we don't want to. But with this, these two, you can go with either one of them, honestly. Let's mess around with this since we already have an insane one already. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's switch this out. We have two types of damage boost. That way, you don't really have to pair it up with a damage booster if you don't want to. But I have an idea. I know what I'm going to do. But given any sword, really, you know, I do like his relic slots, though. I, I will say that. These relic slots are pretty nice. Let me go ahead and go with one that isn't being used. But yeah, we have Ardent and Immune to Control unlocked. That's cool. Axie. Basically, see able to all enemies. Very heavy special damage and applies mega possession to all enemies. Okay. That's, that's a decent uh, ultimate. Let's go ahead and head over to PvP. And here's what we're going to do. We're gonna switch out this attacker obviously let's go with the new monster that we just hashed up uh, when it comes down to runes you can give in the normal attacker runes which is two strength one speed or you could do two speed and one strength something like this let me go ahead and show you guys i'm not sure if bunky will actually invest in this monster but for now since we don't know let's give it something light level sevens let's give in level sevens right now 
So two strength, one speed, like I said. This works out. Or you could do two speed and one strength. That also works out. Um, there are no muted ones. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Anyways, now that we have this ready, um, you can pair it up with the... I would actually highly recommend pairing it up with a monster that could open up the path for you. So for example, Cannon 11. We have 17,000 speed, 26,000. We might have to do triple. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I feel like the tank is probably going to take in first turn. All those team speeds are probably going to go towards the tank. Let's see. We have 30, 28, 26. Oh, that's fine. That's not bad. I was expecting worse. Alright, there goes that. Time stop. It's fine. So, here's the thing. There is a light protection. It takes half the damage from light element, but you can damage any. So we don't really have to PR that, let's just give it double damage. Right? We're just giving it double damage. Look at this. We get the turn. You can use the silver axe to easily one tap this. 150 or 140 scat cold with one life and two strength so since he's like a little bit of threat let's go ahead oh wait you have a mega taunt on you i didn't even see that that's all right uh, how does lamuna have more life than a, the tank that's crazy how tanky was that lamuna we can pr right now or we could just give him the random the normal damage boost but again we could just get that by you know, once he gets a turn himself. So we don't really have to do that. Let's just do this right now. Alright, we open up the path. He's still trying to get through my Mega Taunt. Good luck with that. You could do triple damage or you could do the damage boost. Since we already eliminated the Anspatian monster, uh, what's nice is that we can use that extra turn skill without the Anspatian messing with us. So, we can PER for now. Sure. It's fine. We'll go with Megatont again. So look, we have triple damage and the 50% damage boost. Um, we can go ahead and basically attack whatever we want. So we can do the AOE heavy nature damage or we can do the single target insane thunder damage. Let's see the insane one because I want to see how much damage I'll actually do. Especially when it's against water obviously. So let's see how much damage it's going to be. 2.72. You know what's funny? I was actually expecting more. <laughs> I guess that's because it's a 120 maybe, right? 120 with level 7 runes. It makes sense. 2.72 million is still a good amount of damage anyways. As long as it gets rid of the enemy, I feel like that's that's just enough. You know what I mean? It's enough. Alright, so... Dang, my monsters are about to die. Wait a sec. Hey, 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 come on. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Give me my damage boost. Get out of here. That's what I like about that uh, damage boost skill because it's only a one turn cooldown. So if you ever get hit with CDA, you know what I mean? You get hit with it. Next turn. Oh, you don't have the battle. Okay. Next turn, you can go ahead and um, reuse that. That way, you'll be able to use the other skills. So it's a good idea to run that skill. But again, if you ever want to switch it out, you can do that as well. Undead Mojo. Okay. Phantom. Oh, okay. Well, let's give it my normal double damage. We could probably do use the heavy nature damage. Yep. Let's use the nature damage. That way, we can eliminate both of them. That monster has Phantom. So, we're not able to deal damage to that one. Icy Composure. Okay. Do we want to do damage boost? So here, whenever... There's anticipation obviously, and you don't want to trigger that anticipation. You can always just apply the damage boost with a different monster, like for example, Cannon 11 here. So once we get the turn, look, we don't have to use this. Um, you can do the triple damage now, since you already have the damage boost, or you could just go ahead and attack. I'm going to just do the attack, get rid of the monster. Cool. We could do a tacos or we could just PR and deal damage. Boom, icy composure. So yeah. Overall it's a it's a pretty decent attacker. 
he's not like a must-have monster, but he's not like the worst attacker of all time either. Like he can actually, like he doesn't really rely on much um, besides maybe uh, somebody to open up a path for him. But for the most part, he can apply his own damage boost, you know, benefit from that. And also if he ever dies, he can come back. Um, he has a sword, you know, boost up his strength or just deal the extra damage. Most attackers do need sword. It actually helps him out a lot. He is double element, although nature, that could have been a better element than that. But overall, pretty decent attacker. I actually like it. Um, the only thing is, though, the stamina cost on this skill, which is reasonable. It's an insane thunder damage, but I'm just saying it's kind of high. Um, this skill is also pretty high. Uh, but I would say, again, if you want to run the bear training, you can do that. It helps against, for example, the situations when we get hit with CDA. Next turn, you can reuse it. Um, that way, it allows you to use your Silver Axe skill and the Wild Hunt since they're both two-turn cooldown. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this monster. And that's going to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.